Hello, and welcome to the Word for today. We're going to be looking at Matthew 4. Now listen, I remember uh, when I was younger, my older cousin uh, took some of us to Lake Michigan on the 4th of July. He took some of us cousins, and, and as we were walking back after the fireworks to the car, he said, whoever can count their steps and, and have the same number as mine, or closest to mine, I'll buy ice cream. Now, of course, all of us cousins, we were so excited and we started counting our steps. And of course, when we got to the car, nobody was right. But I remember something in particular. He whispered to me and he said, Cuz, the easiest way that you have, could have gotten a number correct was to watch me and count my steps. Wow. In order to win, we had to follow. In order to follow, we had to watch. Look at some thing about that as we read these words from Matthew 4. 19 and he said to them follow me and i will make you fishers of men i mean peter and andrew were called out of the boat peter and andrew were asked to follow now this was not a moment of just saying hey we believe in you but no this was a follow me watch me closely and do what i do how often do we think about jesus's command to follow him has it been a thought since the day of your salvation when you first chose to follow jesus is it a thought that you regularly have but it's quickly forgotten looking back at the text we see that this is a continual command it's something that we seek to do in every decision every day in every step often the word command has this negative connotation but Actually, this is not a harsh command, but a delightful opportunity. We get to follow the creator of all things. He has called you and me and has given us the ability to stay close to him. So many times Christians find themselves frustrated and confused and lost as we count our own steps. Maybe we're focusing too much on our own walk instead of watching our Savior steps. If we follow Jesus, we can mirror him. We can be prevented from getting lost and frustrated so easily. What would it look like if this week we truly, I mean really, began to follow Christ? What would we have to do different? Where do you think we would end up? Think about that as we pray. Lord, this week, help us to follow you. Help us to follow you with our whole heart and all of our ability. Help us not to want you to follow us in our desires, but help us to follow you in your desires. Lord, may we lay down our nets. May we lay down our things. May we lay down our pride so that we could truly, truly, truly let that go and follow you. We love you, Lord. Lead us where you want us to go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great, beautiful day, and may you have a powerful week when you begin to truly watch and play Follow the Leader.